Maybe you're a seasonal diver who is just coming out of hibernation, or perhaps you're a holiday diver getting ready for your summer dive vacation. If there's been an interval of more than a few months since your last dive, then these tips are for you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so great to see all of your smiling faces. If it's been a while since your last dive, these tips will help you seamlessly ease back into diving. We did make a separate video on how to get back into diving after an extended time away from the sport, which I'll link up above there. This video is more about those sort of annual jobs that you need to get done as you ramp up for your dive season. So let's dive straight in. First off, gear service. I service all of my regulators and BCDs every year because I put a lot of dives on them. Most manufacturers recommend at least a bench test every year and then a full service every two years, regardless of your dive count. But typically, I'll just block three to four days on my calendar and service all the gear I've got. Just go to town. I make a festival out of gear service. I order my parts kits in advance, order up a pizza, crank up the music in the dive locker. Heat up the ultrasonic and just have at it. But if you're not a licensed service technician in your own gear, that means you've got to take it to a certified technician. And this requires time and planning. So call your local service technician and ask them for their current turnaround time. You definitely don't want to be the person pestering the tech for your regulators back two days after you handed them in for service because you leave for your cruise tomorrow. Not cool. Inspect your basics. These are the commonly overlooked items that can ruin the first dives of your season if not properly attended to. Mask straps, check them for integrity. Fitness straps, same. Organize the line on your reels. Check your cutting tool for corrosion. Check the O-rings on your lights and replace if necessary. Replace any batteries. Replenish any items in your saver dive kit. What? You don't have a saver dive kit? Well, then you better watch this video right here from the Divers Ready Content Vault. Test new gear. Was Santa good to you? Do you have an awesome new wetsuit or a shiny new BCD that you can't wait to get wet? Well, don't wait. Take your newly serviced gear and any new purchases that you've made to your local dive shop's pool and take them for a test dive. Check for fit. Make sure you're comfortable with the functionality of everything. You don't want to be finding out how to use your new dive gear in ripping current in Cozumel on your vacation or somewhere. And if you have recently purchased a new dive computer, I have a message for you from dive masters and instructors the world over. Please, for the love of mercy, RTFM. RTFM, people. RTFM. And if you don't know what that means, then you definitely need to RTFM. The dive boat I was on yesterday, guy shows up late, of course, gets a brand new dive computer out of his bag that he got for Christmas a month ago, and then asks his dive guide how to program his nitrox. Classic, absolutely infuriating. RTFM. Next up, plan your dives. I spend half of my time diving and the other half of my time thinking about and planning dives. So if you're a seasonal diver, use your off season to plan the dives you want to do and the trips you want to take. Like for example, the Philippines with Matthias and I. As you saw in last week's CCR video, I'm already researching dives I'm looking forward to in 2024. So doing the homework, reading up on the dive sites, the history of a particular wreck, the coral and fish species in the area you're hoping to dive, gives your diving so much more context and makes it so much more enjoyable. For me at least, hopefully for you as well. Plan your training. You guys probably know by now, I am a very goal-oriented person. I need to have a direction and an objective and a plan, otherwise nothing good really happens. So I like to have structure in my diving 
and I like to be intentional. Last week, I talked a little bit about my path to CCR instructor, which is definitely a goal for this year. I'm also going to attack macro videography, which is something I have not played around with before. So shout out to Becca at Backscatter for helping me pick out a new macro setup for my GH5. Uh, those are my goals for this year, and I have a plan in place to achieve them. What skills are you going to learn, practice, or refine this year? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you got value out of this video, and if you did, give it the old thumbs up, share it with your dive buddies, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Dive safe, dive often.